Hey friends, Tux here. I've been really having a great time with my Fitbit Sense 2, which I'm wearing right now. And the one thing, okay, the one opportunity for this watch, in my opinion, is the band. It has one of these plasticky bands, which some people just don't do well with, okay? So I wanted to go ahead and show an alternative option for you. This is a metal band that you can get on Amazon. I've heard really good things about this, and I will have a link for this band right below, so be sure and click that link to get yours at the very best price, okay? Um, it comes just like this, and you can see it comes in a beautiful little case, so very giftable. Looks like a high-quality band. It looks like actually a, a watch in here, but of course this is just the band that you put your Fitbit Sense 2 into. We'll slide this open. Very nice texturized case. Looking good, got a little sticker there. Let's go ahead and give this a little cut here and see what's inside the box. Hopefully this is pretty painless. Like, I almost kind of don't believe that I can get this watch into this band without having it look too awkward or, you know, just be a problem. So anyway, this is the first time I've actually switched out like a metal band. Like it's easy just to replace the plastic parts, but to actually have something that covers the whole faceplate of the watch is kind of the issue. So let's see here, we'll open this up. And we're greeted with some instructions here. We'll keep this on camera. All right, so first off, it looks like there is information about removing links. Okay, so unlike a, you know, a rubber band like this where you can, you know, go different notches to make it smaller or larger, with metal bands, it has to be set to the size you want. And there's really no getting around that. So what you have to do essentially is remove little metal links to have it fit your size of wrist. Okay, so it does give you instructions for that. It looks like it's not too involved. Basically, you use a little tool, you take out little pieces, use these little pins, and then you just take out sections of it to make it as long or as short as you really need to have it, okay? And then it looks like the actual electronics part of it just kind of snaps in place here into the actual watch band, just like that. So it still will charge fine with the charger, um, but we will find out together. This is definitely an adventure. It doesn't look too hard on paper, but we'll find out here. Now looking at the actual tools here, so we have uh, quite a few things that come with it here. It looks like we have a little screwdriver uh, tool mechanism. This is interesting and it has like a little rubbery stop here. This looks like something you'd use to fix like an Apple iPhone or something or maybe an Apple Watch. Um, definitely more tool than I expected uh, for this, you know, about $30 price point. And it does come with the screwdriver too. So it's nice that it actually comes with these two things because a lot of like watches and things like that will not come with the tools or it'll be like severely lacking. It'll just be like a metal rod but not like any kind of handle or anything else. I like the way this even even though this is plastic it's metal plastic end it is kind of a hexagon here so it looks like this could be used in conjunction with some other kind of tool slipping over this like a some kind of like a ratchet set or something if you really had to of course this being plastic you probably don't want to do that but anyway we got two tools so that's really great and let's go ahead and take a look at the band here pulling this out looks like a lot of foam and this actually has a pretty good weight to it here. Oh, before I go further, looks like we have a few little accessories here. Let me show these real quick so we know what we're dealing with here. We have some little pins, it looks like. A little screw, God, do not lose these pieces. Looks like there's one little screw and a pin. And here we have a couple different pins, um, our ends and like one little uh, pin or axle or whatever you want to call it. So, um, or two, two, actually there's two in there. So you get a few spare parts to try and alter the wristband to the size that you need it to be. Um, so that's good too, but to be careful, these are really teeny pieces and I could totally see losing these parts uh, so easily, so easily for me. And then of course here is the watch. Now this is packed really nicely. We'll pull out the, the foam here. We'll just kind of put that to the side. Um, lots of protective plastic on the inside and the outside of this whole thing, which um, is reassuring, but it just seems like a Seems like a lot. Um, let's go ahead and try and pull this off here. Try and get all the plastic off. We'll pull off the little safety pieces. I, well, I guess I could leave those until I'm done altering the band or you know, getting it to the right width. It does feel quality, I will say. Looks very sharp. Kind of a black pewter look to it. Let's see, I'm not sure the best way of getting rid of this plastic, or maybe I don't want to just yet. Um, here, I'll pop out this part here just so you can see what this looks like. So we have a very nice metal faceplate, and then your Sense 2 will just fit right in the back there. Hopefully that will stay in place. 
Now, at first attempt, this didn't seem to go that well, but after playing with it here, um, I did screw this in, and then the pin, as you can see here, hopefully I can show that, it did pop out partially. Um, looks like it really didn't go out all the way. Okay, so basically, once you got that in there, you should be able to hopefully maybe pull the pin out. Let me see here. Let me push this out a little bit more and see if there's a way we can maybe pull this out of the device. Oops, and then go ahead and... Just pull the pin out. Yeah, so that just pops out. So that's pretty easy. I'm just going to stick that in my little parts box here. I'd recommend using that so you don't lose anything. And we're going to take out about three pieces here. So we've got one, two, three. We'll, we'll start right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the, the little pin in position. Okay, you can see actually this, for being kind of a cheap device, I mean, it's just plastic. It actually does work pretty well. You can see it's already pulling the pin out there. So... That will be enough for us to grab it with our fingers once we remove this piece. There we go. And we'll pull this out. And I'm going to carefully pull out the pin. Right there, you can see it. Pulling out the pin. This one's a little tighter. That does not want to come out. Wow. Might need some more tools for this. Oh, there we go, and it came out. All right, there we go. So now we have this whole little chunk here, which we're gonna put in our little parts box, just like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and try and reconnect it. Hopefully it's not too weird, the angle here. Okay, I think that's actually just about right. My biggest question that comes up now is, I know for these watches to be functional, they really need to be tightly pressed against your, your skin to get you know the blood oxygen and the different readings so this being a little bit looser i don't know if it's going to be good enough to actually get those readings so i may have to remove another piece but i think for right now i'm going to try and assemble it with those removed the pins we removed and then go ahead and see how it works for a night or two and we can always add pins back in or remove pins as needed Okay, so we got the new pin pushed in here, and this looks like one solid unit again. And it's metal, which would be really good, so hopefully this won't have any kind of like allergic reaction to my wrist, like this plastic one, the, the stock one that comes with the Sense 2 uh, does. And I've had the same problem with other rubbery bands too, so it has nothing, nothing against the Sense 2 by any means. That's just the way my wrist is. We're going to push these two tabs together. It has a nice locking, unlocking feature, as you can see. Very nice, safe lock. And we'll go ahead and cut off the rest of the plastic here and see what this looks like. Try and tear this off. Got a little snip in there. Give it a little tear. There we go. Almost off. Maybe I need to cut this again here. Let's see. There we go. And here we are. All right. So now a very nice metal band looking good. Nice metal clasp to it snaps in place nice and tight and the big question is a how will the sense 2 fit in here and then b will it actually read my stats well okay all right so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and take a look okay now you do want to make sure the big button is aligned with the big button on the side of the metal frame here so we're just gonna pop this in place kind of snaps in it looks it looks nice and tight like that's not falling out or anything like that and it looks like we're doing good um, there's really no screen protector or anything. It's just the normal sense screen right there, and it does seem to stay in place. All right, let me try this on the wrist real quick. We'll pop this on. Looks good. Give it a little snap, and that's pretty good. Now, the question is, will this actually get all the readings? Like, will this work overnight? So I'm going to try this for a while, and we'll be right back. Okay, I've had this on for a while now. I'm coming back here, and it's doing good, guys. It can actually read everything. The big button works fine, just like you think it would. You can go through the settings. Everything is still responding, just like it should when you click the button and everything. So, very good. Um, it can transmit to your phone, no problem. So, you won't have an issue with that. And uh, so far, so good, guys. So, I may use this for a while. I may come back with a follow-up video down the road, um, or some other comments, like if I get a reaction to this metal band. But so far, it looks really good. It definitely looks more stylish, I think, than the plastic plastic stock band that comes with the Fitbit Sense too. So I'm really curious about this, um, how it will work with my skin and everything else. So anyway, guys, this is available on Amazon and it's definitely worth checking out. Not real expensive. And it gives a little touch of class actually to the Fitbit Sense too. Okay, so I dim the lights here so you can see what this looks like uh, close up 
without being blinded by my studio lighting. Um, but you can see this is still very good. You can hit the button here. It goes right into the modes, just like you suspect. You can flip through all the different screens. It's still very responsive. Looks bright. It's going to be able to take care of your readings. Ooh, it's raining. Yuck. <laughs> and everything you want out of your Fitbit Sense, too. But just really classy touch. Love the way it has now metal. And um, definitely gives you a different feel than the plastic bands. It has a nice metal quality feel. Feels like a you know watch, which is much more expensive. The Fitbit Sense 2 is about a $300 watch. So this now feels like a $300 watch with a real metal band. To recap, this Fitbit Sense 2 metal band is available on Amazon. And it definitely gives you that nice touch of class upgrade from the regular plastic ones that come with the Fitbit Sense 2. When you originally buy it, you get these all plastic rubber band. And this is kind of cheap and whatever. And a lot of people have allergic reactions to the plastic. So it's nice actually having a real, you know, metal watch band. So that's really cool. It looks like black pewter. Uh, has a good amount of weight to it without being too heavy, you know. But it feels quality, which is really nice. And the buttons work just like you think they would. Everything is very cool with it. And it doesn't fall out. It's definitely safe in there so you can still charge it you can use your charger and charge it just like you normally would so i think this is a winner guys if you guys have any questions about this smart band here <laughs> for the fitbit sense 2 let me know in the comments below you guys know i'm here to help i can help you with any kind of installation issues too uh let me know and of course this is available on amazon and i will have that link for you right below so be sure and click that link to get yours at the very best price okay all right friends i want to thank you for watching this video really appreciate it again any questions reach out to me tux toys at gmail.com and we'll talk to you soon okay bye bye click the link